Hi, my name is Eric Burns Guild, and in this tutorial, I'd like to show you a selection method that you can use to make rather complex selection based on the color of a photo. For example, a color that you want to remove or that you want to keep. Now, there are tons of different selection methods available in Photoshop. You can do channels, you can do some refined commands, you can use the quick selection, magic one, the list just keeps on and growing. And the color range method, which is what I'm going to show you today, is yet another selection method. But as with everything, it's always good to know a few different options that you can use if all else fails. So. In this example, I have a photo open that I took in Germany a couple of years ago. It's of a church, I believe it's in Leipzig. And what I want to remove is the sky, or I want to change the color. I want to do anything to this sky. Maybe just cut out the church. As I said, you can use any amount of methods to achieve this, but today we're going to have a look at the color range. So if you go to the select menu, you can find color range. And Chances are a few of you might not have heard of this, might just miss that it's there. In fact, color range is pr a pretty good method to select a range of colors. So this is based on some, uh, the fussiness setting here and localized color cluster settings and allow you to say that you want to select reds, yellows, greens, cyans, blues, magentas, highlights, midtones, and shadows. You can see they're used for this to select, for example, the highlights, midtones, or shadows, or any colors that are out of a gamut. So you can do a lot of by just choosing the default color here. And as you can see, here we have a preview of the selection where everything is white, which is going to be selected, and everything that's black is not going to be selected. You can preview this on the selection or preview the image and also turn on a selection preview here, for example, grayscale, which is going to render the image behind the dialog box the same, black matte, white matte, or a quick mask. But what I'm going to do is choose sampled colors at the top, which is going to let me use my color picker here or my sampler tool, I should say, and click anywhere in the image. And you see as I click, hold down, and drag, you see that I select different parts of the sky in this case, or if I go over the building. So if I just click anywhere here in the blues, I want to make sure that I get as much of the blues that are closer to the church. And with the fuzziness setting, I can control how much it's going to allow based or apart from the actual blue that I sampled. Uh, and I can also turn on the localized color clusters to even further refine this so that I, in the end, get a selection that isn't pulling anything from the building, uh, but is what I want. Now, I know I have this big black bit here that I won't be able to get rid of because it is too white. And if I just increase the fuzziness enough to just try and touch that, the whole building is going to be selected as well. So I'm going to focus on getting the edge as good as I can and out as clean as possible. And then I can easily just go ahead and select the rest as well. So I'm going to try a fuzziness setting of off about here just before the windows of the church and I, even I can go just so the windows are selected just a little bit because they are easy to deselect as well. So I can have a look at the inverted one to see how that's looking which is also a, a good way and when I feel done I can just click OK and you see that I get the selection that I was after and it's done a very good job selecting around the entire building and selecting everything that's blue here. So what I'm going to do just now is grab my lasso tool and I'm going to make sure I'm adding to the selection, holding down the shift key, just making a quick selection around the area to include that as well. And just to prove my point, I'm going to hit Command J to put this up on its own new layer. If you're on a PC, that's going to be Control J. And let me fill this right now. That's a blue. Let's fill this with a black. And you're going to see some remains here of where the blue color was. And if I zoom in, it's going to be even clearer because here's where I did my lasso selection. So it's not perfect. 
And knowing that, we can undo this until just before when we, we hit it, and we can go to Refine Edge to further, and if I zoom in here, you can see we can further go make sure, let's turn on the Smart Radius, let's increase this a bit, maybe not that much, but we can, again, try and make sure we get the selection that we are after, and, and once I do get the selection, I can then copy that into a new layer and let's try filling that. So we can continue to enhance the selection after the fact as well. So the color range selection method is a great way to select a range of colors and the fact that it's going to preserve some sort of alpha transparency in this, as you can see, just makes it a perfect tool to select your quick selection here and a very accurate selection of, in this case, a sky. So thank you for tuning in to this tutorial. My name is Eric Burmanskill. Thank you for watching. Hope I'll see you in another tutorial. Bye-bye for now.